If you don't like any of the default groups for alternate fonts, you can go ahead and specify your own using the edit the font list option. So to do this, go ahead and go to the text menu, then go to font, and you could go ahead and choose one of the presets. However, you can also go to edit font list and you're going to be able to see and alter the combinations as well as create your own. So to do so, go ahead and click on one and it's going to tell you the chosen fonts that are in that list. Now how this works is that if you've chosen a font in your web page and the browser can't read it, it's going to first of all try Arial. If it can't choose Arial, it's going to then choose Helvetica. If it can't choose Helvetica, then, then it's simply going to choose a sans serif font. So you can change these combinations simply by clicking on one of these and then um, moving it out. You could delete it by clicking this button and you can also add it by clicking this button. And you could go over here choose an available font. Click this button to move it over. Click another font and another. So this is saying first try Algerian, then try Angelina, then try Arial. And it went ahead and added it up here. So I could keep this selected and then I could click my OK button and that's going to be the alternate fonts that it's going to try if the browser can't find the original font that I've used in my web page.